How you doing my fellow gamers, Sir Dazzler here and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Tonight we are running the QBZ83 Assault Rifle class. So I'm going to run through the setup I have for it so far. I have the flash guard 5.56 for muzzle flash concealment. The 15, 15.5 reinforced heavy barrel for effective damage range and bullet velocity. But then we are using the 40 round drum mag. I had it on the 40 round speed mag, but I lose 20% ADS speed time, so we changed it back to the drum mag. Uh, then we had the speed, uh, speed grip, a quicker ADS, and tactical stock for aim walk movement speed. Secondary, we are using the M79 grenade launcher. This is really just for fun. Uh, it's, it's not as effective. The explosive launchers in this aren't particularly good because of flat jacket. It makes it nearly impossible to get a one shot kill with a grenade launcher. So, um, the tactical loadout is a stim shot and frag grenade and the perk uh, upgrade is the gas mine. And we're using the perk breed, engineer and tactical mask, scavenger and assassin and spycraft and gun hole. So the engineer and the spycraft is a combination. So I'm gonna use the engineer so I can see uh, enemy field upgrades and with spycraft you can hack them. And so that's pretty handy. So, we're going to get stuck into some uh, kill confirmed and domination. Right, domination, let's go. Domination. Pity with the stop on power. Uh, eat shit. Objective. Alright, let's keep the momentum going. Driving RCXD. RCXD, let's do it. Haha, ah. <laughs> beautiful. Losing Bravo. Taking B. <laughs> it's as good as ours. Keep it tight and by the numbers.
I mean, I'm not carrying stone, lovely. 21 and 19, not bad. Not bad for a ladder. Here we go. Kill confirmed. Let's take this gun's made of. Oh, lovely. After kill. Lovely and accurate at close range. So bad. 24 to 16, that's a pretty good start. That's probably the best I've done so far with a jet. Domination, let's go. Domination.
Hershey. to 24 that's pretty good that's pretty good all things considered now okay guys that's going to be it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed the content uh, if you do please make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell let's get those uh subscribers up to the 100 mark and you have would be greatly appreciate so quick analysis this gun it's not bad but at the same time it's not great it's like the ak-47 without the firepower that's basically what it's like and the hip fire kind of sway a bit on the horizontal axis. Um, the, right, the right attachments now, it's, it's not too bad. I have it on level 29, so it's okay. But um, if you're trying to go pro with it, I wouldn't recommend it. Honestly, I wouldn't now. It's not the worst, but it's it's not the best either. It's okay. It's just, it's got good accuracy and that's about it. It's stopping power really lets it down. And if you're going up against the pros, they're going to be using AKs, uh, Krig 6 and all of that. So, um, just give it a go, but I, um, I wouldn't recommend it long term in terms of firepower. Um, then the, the M79, that was just for a bit of fun. I didn't really use it too much. Uh, like I said earlier on, trying to get them in the a one shot kill uh, with flak jacket on, it's nearly impossible. You need the war machine for that. So, that's, that was just for a bit of fun. It's, it's not great, but um, I'll try something different in the next video. So until the next time, have a good one and watch your sex on.